How do you know I'm mad, said Alice. You must be, said the cat, or you wouldn't have come here hoping for a ban list. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the mad cat most, Avery LR32 here, and I want you to take your pet cat or pet dog or pet goldfish, and I want you to throw them down the rabbit hole of a big old boo-boo stain while you're smashing that like and subscribe button and ding-dong Taco Bell notification bell so that you can be part of the Avery Army so that we can keep on climbing up to 1,500 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as always, I do apologize for all the YGO organization ads, although I do think it's funny that an Ozempic ad played uh, as I was getting onto this page um, because, as you know, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! players are quite insulin-resistant. But besides that, we got a uh, new archetype at a crossover breakers. This is the next side set, not core set. It's just like a side set, just like Valiant Smashers, things like that. Um, and it's of this really busted archetype called Malice. And I didn't talk about him last night when I did that Exodia deck profile just because I was so exhausted and I really wanted to think about these cards more and kind of see how the community reacted to it. Because I was like, people say that stuff's busted and then it turns out to be trash. But with all the Cynet and Cyber support, this deck is actually really crazy. Um, there's a card called Drastic Draw where you banish as many monsters on your field as possible, minimum of two, to draw three, and then you're only locked into special summoning cybers for the rest of the turn. While all of these things are cybers, and they all have effects that when they're banished, to summon themselves right back. So you can banish two of these Malice monsters, draw three freaking cards on a hard once per turn activation, but who cares, and then you can summon your bodies back. So... With all that brokenness aside, let's go ahead and go on into these. So this is Malice or M Lice. Uh, we're going to call it Malice because this just looks like a tongue sticking out instead of uh, the letter A. Um, or actually, it looks like a V. Uh, Malice, Pawn, White Rabbit, level 3, Dark Cyber, Effect Monster, 1200 Attack, 300 Defense. You can only use this card's in first and third effects once per turn each. If this card is normal or special summon, you can set one Malice Trap from your deck with a different name from the cards in your grave. Uh, fun fact, the traps are busted AF, so that's actually pretty good. You take no battle damage from battles involving Malice Link monsters that point to this card. Sure. If this card becomes banished, you could pay 300, special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Link monsters. You don't care. You're a Link deck. Uh, all of the Cybers good stuff that we've seen in the past, you can use in this deck. Um, so you see what I mean? Like, they get banished, and then you pay a certain amount of life points to summon them back. So, like, Drastic Draw is just broken in this deck. Uh, Malice Pawn Cheshire Cat, a level 3 Dark Cybers Effect Monster, 1500 attack, 300 defense. Only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. During your main phase, you can banish one Malice card from your hand, then draw two cards. So you can draw upwards of five if you combine this with Drastic Draw. That's insane. Monsters destroyed by battle with a Malice Link monster that point to this card are banished instead of being sent to grave. That seems pretty good. If this card becomes banished, you can pay 300 Special Summon it. Also, you cannot Special Summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Link monsters. This goes to show also you can play things like Macrocosmo and D-Fisher, and it's pretty hot. Uh, this is Malice Pond Dormouse, a level 3 Dark Cybers effect monster, 900 attack, 300 defense. Only use the first and third effect once per turn. During the main phase, you can banish one Malice monster from your deck. Also, all Malice monsters you control will gain 600 attack for the rest of this turn. That's pretty broken because you can summon this to banish one of the other ones, summon it out, and now your drastic draw is live. Malice Link monsters that point to this card cannot be shown by card effects. If this card becomes banished, you can pay 300 special summon it. Also, you can't special summon from the extra for the rest of this turn except Link monsters. I don't know if the 300 thing has to do because the defense is 300, but maybe it's just coincidence. Um, Malice Queen Red Ransom, uh, Link 3 Dark Cyber Sync Effect Monster, 2300 attack points left, right, and bottom. Uh, materials is 2 plus monsters, including a Malice Monster, so pretty generic, just like the uh, Fiendsmith cards. It just cards 2 monsters plus a Light Fiend in their case. Same thing here, 2 monsters, including a Malice Monster. Only use the first and third effect once per turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. If this card is special summon, you can have one Malice spell from your deck to your hand. The original attack and defense of all effect monsters your opponent controls are swapped while this card points to a monster. This card's a shield and sword, and I think that that's really hilarious. If this card becomes banished, you can pay 900, special summon it, then you can banish a Cybers monster from your deck. Again, that's just insane. Um, I think you can also play Dot Scraper in this deck, because I think it says when it's banished, you can summon it, so it's like a free chicken nuggy extendy. Um, I could be wrong about that. I don't remember what Dot Scraper does. I thought it was like if it becomes banished, you can summon it, but either way, this, this Link monster is nuts. Uh, Malice Queen Hearts of Cryptor. I really like the art. It looks cool. Uh, Link 3, Dark Cyber Slink Effect Monster, 2500 attack. Points top, bottom left, bottom right. Materials, 3 monsters, including a Malice Monster. You can only use this card's name's first and uh, second effects once per turn each. I was getting ready to say third. Uh, quick effect, you can target one of your banished Malice cards. Shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, banish one card on the field. It's non-targeting banishing removal. That's pretty high. This effect and its activation cannot be negated if this card points to a monster. <laughs> uh, you know what this means? 
you can summon this, have it point to some sort of Omni Negate, and the opponent can't use that Omni Negate because it's pointing to a monster. That's fucking hilarious. This um, this card's good. Uh, if this card becomes banished, you can pay 900 special summon it, and if you do, its attack becomes doubled. This thing becomes 5,000 attack. <laughs> oh, this shit's insane. I mean, this is busted. And I think we get crossover breakers in, like, October, I think? So, like, we get this after Rage of the Abyss. Like, this is busted. Uh, Malice and Underground, Field Spell. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. When this card resolves, you can banish one Malice card from your hand, deck, or grave. Malice Link Monster to Control gain 3,000 attack, while you have three or more banished Malice traps with different names. If you control any Malice Link Monsters, your opponent's monsters can only target them for attacks. This Field Spell seems really good. Like, all these cards genuinely seem super good. This is a Malice Code MTP07 Normal Trap. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You can activate this card. The turn was set by banishing one face-up Malice Monster you control, because why not? Add one Malice Monster from your deck to your hand. Then if you control Malice Link Monster, you can banish one card on the field. That's also really busted. Like, combined with the Link Monster, like you're banishing two cards, uh, that's that's just crazy. Uh, Malice Code GWC06, a normal trap, only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You can activate this card at the turn of set by banishing one face-up Malice Monster you control. Special summon one Malice Monster from your graveyard or banishment. Then if you control a Malice Link Monster, you can gain life points equal to the summon monster's original attack. Sure, I guess. I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible. Uh, Malice Code TB11, normal trap. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You can activate this card the turn of a set by banishing one face-up Malice Monster you control. Special summon a Malice Monster from your deck, or if your opponent controls three or more cards, you can special summon one Malice Link Monster from your extra deck instead. The summon monster cannot attack or activate its effects this turn. Uh, and then there's some interesting reprints in the set here. Dot Scraper, Loof, Lupine, Zero Boros, Allure, Backdoor, and D-Fisher. Makes me wonder if we'll see D-Fisher eventually go to one again. That hasn't been at one since like 2013. So overall, sets busted AF. Um, well, rather, this archetype's busted AF. But Crossover Breakers is looking like a pretty solid side set. It's going to be interesting to see the pull rates on all these um, Malice monsters. And on top of that, too, um, it makes me wonder if like you could play like other banishing cards in this deck. Like besides um, D-Fisher and Macro. Because keep in mind, and I actually thought of this right when I saw this uh, archetype and I was rereading it just now. Can we finally play Card of Sanctity competitively? Because remember, it says banish all cards in your hand, um, and I think it says hand and field, draw until you have two cards. Well, if you're banishing Malice Monsters, who cares? You're going to get them all back, and then you get two free draws. And you draw until you have two. So, like, obviously, like, you want to use up a bunch of cards. Then if the last card in your hand is, like, Sanctity, you can activate it, banish everything, draw two, get your stuff back. Um, yeah, this is um, this is really interesting. There was some other card on the top of my head or tip of my tongue, pause, uh, that I was thinking of when I was reading this. But no, I don't remember, and I don't want to waste your time. But, uh, guys, let me know what you think of all this, because this stuff seems really, really busted. I'm sure that there's combos that y'all are typing in the comments right now that I'm just not thinking of or even saying at this point. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.